Imagine the vast cold waters of the North Atlantic, an endless expanse where the wind howls and the waves crash against rugged isolated shores. These are not just any seas, they are wild, untamed, and steeped in mystery. For thousands of years these waters have hidden secrets beneath their icy surface, secrets that have eluded explorers, scientists, and fishermen alike. What stories might be buried in the cold, dark depths? In early 2025, a remarkable discovery would shatter what we thought we knew about Canada's prehistoric past, sending shockwaves through the scientific community and igniting imaginations worldwide. The monster at the heart of this revelation? Otodus Megalodon, the largest shark ever to have lived, a true giant of the ancient seas, with teeth the size of a human hand and a bite that could crush bone. Until now, megalodon fossils had only been found in warm, sunlit waters, never in the frigid expanse of Canada. The idea that such a colossal predator once roamed these northern seas seemed impossible. But everything changed with the rediscovery of a set of massive serrated teeth, dredged up by scallop fishers off Nova Scotia in the 1960s, then quietly forgotten in a museum drawer for decades, gathering dust and waiting for their story to be told. These teeth, long overlooked and underestimated, forced scientists to redraw the map of Megalodon's ancient empire, expanding its range into the cold northern Atlantic. The revelation was staggering. This apex predator, once thought to haunt only tropical waters, had in fact prowled Canada's ancient seas, dominating the food chain in a world very different from today. Sometimes the greatest scientific breakthroughs come not from new discoveries, but from looking at old evidence with fresh eyes and a new perspective. The confirmation of Megalodon in Canada is a true scientific plot twist, connecting the icy Atlantic to a lost, tropical world and revealing how much our planet has changed over millions of years. It's a powerful reminder that our planet's history is always being rewritten, and that every fossil has the potential to change what we know about life on Earth. One forgotten fossil can upend everything we thought we knew, opening a new chapter in the story of our ancient world. Airy discovery starts with a question. A spark of curiosity that refuses to be ignored, no matter how small or unlikely it may seem at first. For this story, it all began with a teenager's insatiable curiosity, the kind that makes you pause in front of a museum display and wonder, what if there's more to this than meets the eye? Louis-Philippe Bateman, who would later become a graduate student at McGill University, was drawn in by a rumor. Whispers of giant, mysterious shark teeth discovered off the coast of Canada, teeth that didn't quite fit any known species. Most people might have dismissed the story as just another tall tale, but Bateman couldn't let it go. The question gnawed at him, growing into a fascination that would shape his future. At McGill, Bateman found a kindred spirit in Professor Hans Larsen. Together they formed a team, united by a shared determination to track down the elusive fossils and unravel the truth behind the legend. Their search led them to the Canadian Museum of Nature, a place where history is preserved in drawers and display cases. There, the mysterious teeth had been quietly waiting, unstudied and overlooked for decades. Bateman's relentless curiosity transformed what was once a forgotten rumor into a genuine scientific quest, breathing new life into old bones and dusty collections. This story is a testament to the power of persistence in science. It reminds us that progress is driven by people who refuse to let questions go unanswered, who keep searching even when the answers seem hidden or out of reach. Sometimes all it takes is a curious student, a supportive mentor, and a mystery hiding in plain sight, waiting for someone bold enough to look closer and ask, why? Bateman's journey from a high school reader, captivated by the unknown, to a published scientist sharing his discoveries with the world, is proof that passion and perseverance can change what we know about our planet's history. In the end, groundbreaking discoveries often begin with a single stubborn question, and the courage to chase it wherever it leads. In the collections of the Canadian Museum of Nature, Bateman and Larson finally found the legendary teeth. They were enormous, far bigger than any modern sharks, but to rewrite the fossil record, they needed proof-careful measurements, comparisons, and analysis. The teeth's size, shape, and serrations match those of Autodus megalodon. Their findings, published in 2024, confirmed it. Megalodon had hunted in Canadian waters. This was the first formal evidence of the giant shark in Canada, extending its known range. The discovery sent shockwaves through the scientific community. A rumor from an old book became a peer-reviewed fact 
The journey of these teeth, from ocean floor to museum drawer to scientific journal, shows the power of curiosity and persistence. Museums don't just preserve the past, they hold it in trust for future discoveries. Sometimes the extraordinary is hiding in plain sight. Ho is Megalodon. This ancient shark has captured the imagination of scientists and the public alike, inspiring legends and fueling our fascination with the mysteries of the deep. Not just a shark, a global super predator. Megalodon was the undisputed apex predator of its time, dominating the world's oceans with a presence that dwarfed even today's largest sharks. At over 15 meters long, with jaws wide enough to swallow two adults side by side, it was the largest and most powerful shark in history. Its teeth, some as large as a human hand were perfectly designed for slicing through flesh and bone. Its bite force was unmatched, capable of crushing the bones of whales and giant sea turtles. Megalodon's menu included some of the largest marine animals ever to exist, making it a true terror of the ancient seas. For nearly 20 million years Megalodon ruled the oceans, shaping the evolution of marine life. Its presence forced other species to adapt, evolve or risk extinction, leaving a lasting mark on the ocean's history. Its fossils have been found on every continent except Antarctica, showing its adaptability and the vast range it once patrolled. From shallow coastal waters to deeper seas, Megalodon thrived wherever prey was plentiful. But Megalodon's reign depended on a warmer world, with sprawling coastal habitats and abundant prey. These rich environments were the perfect hunting grounds for such a massive predator. As a hyper-predator, it kept marine ecosystems in balance, like lions or wolves do on land. By preying on the largest animals, Megalodon helped regulate populations and maintain the health of the ocean. Its extinction, likely caused by cooling oceans and vanishing prey, changed the ocean forever. As the climate shifted and food sources dwindled, Megalodon could no longer survive, leading to a dramatic shift in marine life. Studying Megalodon isn't just about its size, it's about understanding how life responds to planetary change. Its story helps us see how climate, food webs and extinction are all connected. The fall of this king reveals how the loss of a single species can reshape an entire ecosystem. When a top predator disappears, the effects ripple through the food chain, altering the balance of life. The story of Megalodon is a window into the power and fragility of life on Earth. It reminds us that even the mightiest creatures are vulnerable to change, and that the history of our planet is written in the fossils left behind. The Canadian Megalodon discovery raises a key question, how did it survive so far north? The answer lies in temperature. Megalodon thrived in warm seas likely thanks to partial warm-bloodedness like great whites today. This allowed it to hunt in cooler waters, but only up to a point. During warm periods in Earth's history the North Atlantic was much warmer, creating a temporary corridor for Megalodon to venture north. The Nova Scotia fossils mark the edge of its range, a snapshot of a tropical giant at its thermal limit. This link between climate and species range is crucial today, as our oceans warm rapidly. By studying Megalodon's response to past climate shifts, we gain insight into how modern marine life might adapt or struggle. The story of Megalodon is a warning. The boundaries of life are set by climate and they can change. For Canadian science, this is a landmark discovery. While Alberta's dinosaurs get the spotlight, the Megalodon find puts eastern Canada on the prehistoric map. It pushes the known northern range of Megalodon further than ever before, revealing a dynamic, interconnected ancient ocean. This single fossil enriches our understanding of Miocene marine life and inspires a new generation of Canadian scientists. It's proof that world-class discoveries can happen anywhere, even in a forgotten museum drawer. The find also highlights the need to protect our marine heritage. These fossils are reminders of a deep history beneath our modern industries. Understanding this past is essential for making smart decisions about our oceans today. The Canadian Megalodon is not just a relic, it's a part of our living story. The Megalodon story is also about dark data, the vast unstudied collections in museums worldwide. It's estimated that most fossils in museums have never been formally described. These collections are scientific frontiers, waiting for the right question. The Megalodon teeth were dark data for decades, their significance hidden until Bateman's curiosity brought them to light. This isn't unique, countless specimens in museums hold untapped secrets. New technologies let us extract more information from old fossils than ever before. Museums are not just displays, they're dynamic research centers full of potential discoveries. The Canadian Megalodon is a call to action, invest in our collections, digitize them, and encourage curiosity.
The next breakthrough might be waiting in a drawer, not in the ground. Sometimes the biggest discoveries are hiding in plain sight. Why does a long extinct shark matter today? Because understanding the past is key to navigating the future. Each fossil is a data point in Earth's 4 billion year experiment. Megalodon's rise and fall teach us about resilience, adaptation, and the consequences of climate change. Its extinction is a stark reminder, no species is immune to planetary shifts. Discoveries like this fuel scientific progress and inspire the next generation. The story of a student solving a decades-old mystery makes science accessible and exciting. It reminds us that wonders are still out there, waiting to be found. Studying our planet's history is an act of self-discovery. Earth's past is our shared heritage. The forces that shaped Megalodon's world still shape ours. By looking back we gain perspective and responsibility for the future. Confirming Megalodon in Canada closes one mystery, but opens many more. Each answer leads to new questions. What else lurks in our ancient seas? The coastline of knowledge is always expanding, revealing new frontiers. This discovery is a testament to persistence, curiosity and collaboration across generations. Our planet is an archive of wonders, waiting for the next curious mind. Whether in distant galaxies or museum drawers, the call to explore is the same. The ocean of discovery is vast and deep, its shores are endless. All you need is the courage to get your feet wet. The confirmation of Megalodon in Canada sent ripples far beyond the local coastline. Around the globe, scientists gathered in excitement, exchanging theories and revisiting fossil collections with renewed vigor. Headlines buzzed with the news, igniting imaginations and reshaping textbooks. Paleontologists from every continent weighed in, eager to understand how this apex predator's range might have spanned even further than imagined. Could similar giants have prowled other yet undiscovered corners of ancient oceans? The discovery challenged long-held assumptions and sparked new collaborations between experts in different fields. For the scientific community, it was a moment of unity, a reminder that every find, no matter where it surfaces, has the power to shift our understanding of life on Earth. The implications reach far beyond a single specimen, they influence how we study climate change, extinction and the resilience of marine ecosystems. In classrooms and laboratories worldwide the legacy of the Megalodon continues to inspire, proving that one discovery can change the course of science and remind us all of the boundless mysteries still waiting to be found. As the waves of discovery settle, a new tide of questions rises. Scientists are now charting the unexplored depths of megalodon research with fresh eyes trained on the future. What did these colossal sharks truly eat, and how did they hunt? Did they travel in packs or roam the ancient seas as solitary giants? And what, ultimately, led to their mysterious extinction? Advanced technologies, like deep-sea submersibles and innovative scanning techniques, promise to illuminate secrets locked within the ocean floor. Researchers are eager to unearth more fossils, hoping to piece together the puzzle of Megalodon's life cycle, migrations, and even its DNA. Each new find could rewrite what we know about prehistoric oceans. There are also broader implications. Understanding how Megalodon adapted to ancient climate shifts could offer clues for modern conservation efforts. Could their fate hold warnings for today's marine predators facing a rapidly changing world? Driven by curiosity and collaboration, the scientific community stands ready to dive deeper. The journey to uncover the truth about these ancient titans is far from over. In the vast blue expanse, the next breakthrough could be just beneath the surface, waiting for the next explorer to find it.